G'day! I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how to create your own server and to implement uh, automation cars. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to join the BMNP uh, Discord. Then you'll want to go into their Patreon. So from here in the Patreon, well, this is now different because I've uh, signed myself up. Uh, there'll be options. I just went for the $1 option to make sure it works. I will eventually later give them more as long as this uh, maintains like being really awesome as it is. Then once you've done that, you'll want to make sure that your Patreon and your Discord are connected. Then when you go into Discord, it should say that you are a donator. That will give you access to the early access tree. So under early access server, you'll go here, you'll download that. Then from there, you'll go to your downloads folder, you'll open it up, you'll take this, you'll bring it into a new folder. I don't care what I'm going to call it, I'm just going to call it the Beam MP server, doesn't really matter. You're going to drag this in here, then you're going to run it, you'll let it run its course. Then under config, you're going to put in a bunch of your details. So if you want to run it private, you'll put in two, uh, here's your port the amount of cars that each player can have, the maximum number of players. Here you can put whatever map you want to run as. So to find what name to put here in this particular part, you're going to go to your Steam, Steam apps, common, beamng.drive, content, levels, and then you're going to go here, you're just going to bring this up, you're going to copy that, and you're going to put it in there. So I'm going to copy, paste, and that brings up the thing that you need. Then you're going to name your server, you're going to name the description of your server, I mean that doesn't really particularly matter right now. Uh, resources I left as it is, auth key. Now, you are going to need to open up beamng-mp.com. Then I'll ask you to authenticate with your Discord and go along with that. Then you come down here to keys, and then you'll create a key. Then you'll put in your server name and server IP. For that, you will want to go CMD, then IP, config. Now, I've blanked out these details, but for you, it should be about the same. From this, you'll want to grab IPv4. This is the part where you set up your port forwarding. So, for my particular TP link, you go advanced, NAT forwarding, and virtual servers. Then you'll add a new one. And under here, I don't know what this is, doesn't matter. Under server type, this is what uh, I put my name into, doesn't really seem to adversely affect that. Your external port will be the standard one, 3814. Then your internal IP will be that IPv4 address. Then your internal port will be exactly the same again. And your protocol. Now your protocol can be either TCP, UDP, or both or all. You actually want both of them. Then when you've done that, you hit save. Then, when you're done creating your auth key, it'll give you the name of your server, your IP address, which I've blocked out, and the key. Now, you'll take that auth key, you'll put that auth key in this configuration file right here. You won't need to delete any of the quotation marks or the hash or the details after that. Then, when that's done, you can run the server. When you run the server, I found that for some reason it moved my folder around, but that's fine. You're going to go into resources, then you're going to go into client, and this is where you'll just straight up paste your mods. You'll just grab your cars, you'll take them, and you'll put them in there. Then you'll run your BeamMP server again, allow it to boot up properly, launch the BeamMP multiplayer game, and then from here you go play multiplayer, direct connect, and this will be your loopback address, which will allow you to connect to your own game. Then go into the vehicles, find your vehicle, and spawn it. That is literally it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this instructional. I don't usually do instructionals here, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to bring some of this into more of my Let's Plays of automation stuff. I'll probably just do a little bit more competitive stuff with people now. I'm, uh, I'm excited for the future.